Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with what should be the final episode of the regular playthrough. So we're here in our settlement. Real, we're going to go through a couple things real quick. Um, I'm not actually going to make a decision here. I just want to show you his status real fast and show you how we're at. Productivity is at 155,945, and uh, current debt is at 1,322. So we're about to complete a building. Let's go take a run over to it. The building itself, I thought, would be done by now on its own, um, or should be. Yep, looks like it is. That looks like it right there. Or it will be really soon, so it looks like it might have one final build-out. Yeah. The final fit. Supply materials of 55,000 units. And... This will probably take about two hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in two hours and check it out. And I will show you what, exa what ends up happening to our settlement at that point. Now, your decisions affect the settlement. It affects how much money it makes, how many people are there, happiness, of course. So making your policy decisions, as you can see, um, we can fund a vital maintenance for a reduction of 52000 a day or we can fund productivity improvements, which is going to increase production by 62,000. So obviously, you know, the, the obvious choice is going to be the one on the right. So let's see what that does. We'll take a look at the status, and you'll see that our productivity is up to 217 now. Okay? It isn't quite at the maintenance cost of 264, but we're close. And as soon as we go over the tipping point on that, our current debt will start to reduce. And what happens when it gets to zero? When it gets to zero, you start making money. So it starts producing objects within the village that will be that you can take from it and then sell. And it just makes you money in the long run. So it's it's not a bad decision to take over a settlement. Uh, again, sorry to those folks on Nintendo Switch, you can't do that. But on these settlements, it's worthwhile getting those things done. Now, the last thing to get done would be to take you one more look at in our log of course here um just like i said sellers is always going to be here the freighter command is always going to be a separate entity and we'll show you how to build out a freighter uh in a different episode um i don't think we're going to do it on this save we will do it later on i'm not too happy with the freighter i have on this save here because it seems to be glitching out it's uh, causing problems i sent something out on i sent a ship out on a mission i came back today to open up my game and that freighter terminal is inaccessible. I can't even get to it. Somehow it is now occupying the same space as a cargo uh, container inside the ship. And I don't even know how that happened since I put the two in two completely different areas. So it's glitching out a little bit and I think we're going to have to say goodbye to that. Um, community research will always be on here. Um, it looks like we have passed up tier two. It looks like we're going to get that particular item. Tier three, we should finish out. I wouldn't be surprised by the middle of this week, um, since it seems like we're really progressing pretty quickly. Um, exploration guides will always be in here as far as your secondary missions are concerned. Um, but base computer archives look like it's going to be a uh, it's a mission in its own self. As you get through all of the different 99% missions, you will complete a particular title for your character. And you'll just learn more about the game and more about the characters themselves. So I really don't think it's necessary to go into great, great detail on that. Um, so I think we've done a pretty good run through on this particular um, on this particular game at this point. I think we've done it very well. I like the way it played out. Um, our next objective is going to be, instead of doing a regular playthrough, we're going to do, and I thought maybe I was going to do survival, but I think I'm going to go with a um, hard difficulty level, uh, almost permadeath at this point. And I think we do permadeath. We leave the settings exactly as they are. Um, I think we'll leave the tutorial on, and then what we're going to do... Hey there, buddy. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, and then what we'll do is lock out the settings. So we'll leave them at that state with whatever state the permadeath run will give us. We're not going to max everything out like we would do in a no starter ship challenge or something like that. And we will go after the starter ship. We're not going to treat it that way. We're just going to go ahead and do what's going to be a permadeath run with uh, heavy, heavy costs involved and stuff like that. Um, 
So that's something that we're going to do as well. And I look forward to doing that. That's going to be a, a just a general run through. And uh, we'll do a little bit more of the uh, pausing the game and restarting the game at, a, at, an integral, at an integral point. So the one hour episodes that you're going to see in regards to that are going to be um, in regards to the important portions of the of the run. So I'll be doing a lot of doctoring of the videos and going through uh, my video editing software and trying to clean things up and make it just a little bit nicer to understand and a little bit easier to follow so that it doesn't get as boring as seeing me run around a planet for a half an hour looking for something that you know, uh, I'm never going to find or something along those lines. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you've enjoyed the other videos that I've been putting out lately. Uh, again, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. That does help the channel out, of course. And as we get progressively deeper into this, I believe uh, we've already passed the uh, required 4,000 hours a year. Um, so we are just one step closer to being a, uh, a true influencer content creator on this uh, on this series. So really hoping that that's going to be a thing. Um, I've only been doing this for, uh, looks like a little under four months now. So this has been quite a ride and I'm still enjoying every minute of it. Uh, and talking to you folks and stuff like that. We'll have some more live streams, more videos in the future. I think in regards to the videos that I'm going to be doing uh, after this date, which is mid-March that you're going to see this, uh, or very beginning of March. Um, I think a lot of my videos are going to show me in the video. It's going to have that little sub subset of uh, uh, of a screen over to one side showing my camera so you can actually see me playing. Um, we'll see how that plays out and if we get some negative reviews on that I'll go ahead and remove it again and, and pull that out. But I thought that would just add a little bit extra content. It'll be all the way on the left hand side just above the bars that you see here cur currently and shouldn't get in the way of any text or information on the screen that you're going to see so that you can just watch my reactions to certain things that are happening in the game. But anyway, um, one other thing, one last thing is uh, you're hopefully, I hopefully you're going to see something that I'm starting up as well. I've seen Jason Plays do it and I know this is probably coming weeks after I've started these videos, but I'm going to start doing what's called impossible runs. Uh, basically it's the same starter, per permadeath, no starter ship challenge, but without a HUD. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm kind of nervous about doing it that way because I really would rather have an idea of what's around me um, and being able to visually see things, inquire money to get certain other things by analyzing it. And I'm not going to be able to do that as much. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to see how that works out. Hopefully the videos have had good response by this point. But anyway, uh, this is me signing off. This has been a very short video. I know it's only been about uh, eight minutes, but we're going to go ahead and just pause here for a moment we are going to come back in front of that building over there i'm going to go ahead and make my way over there right now and in two hours we will come back and see how this building affects the happiness and or monetary input of the of the uh settlement and then we'll call it a day so again thank you for watching and we'll see you here in just a little bit Here we are, we're inside the completed building that uh, was being built. So it just gave us the uh, update saying, hey, it's all done. So we're gonna go ahead and take a run over to our settlement computer, as you can see that in the background over there. And we're gonna see what kind of an impact it had on our, uh, let me see, I don't think this is it. It's over behind here, I think, right? Yeah, there it is. And let's take a look and see what it did for our settlement. Um, so productivity is about the same. It doesn't really have changed. Happiness should start going up once it's done. And we have new population. We actually have a couple extra citizens, it looks like. But our debt is still climbing. So we really need to try to help that. So it looks like we have someone we need to greet. Uh, let's see. It removes leaking pipes and adds a feature of automated music drones. Now, it increases the settlement debt, but what it's going to do is it gives us a green automated music drones. What that's going to do is add a positive to our grouping, so the happiness level should increase. And that's really worthwhile. I know we have a lot of debt, I get it, but it's really worth doing it. So we get rid of a bad thing, we're adding a good thing. It, again, it's a lot of debt. See? Watch. It's going to give us that red. There it is. 
but when you're a million in, it really doesn't make a difference at that point. What you see, happiness has gone up from 14 to 16 percent. They got one of, got rid of one of the red things that we had down there, down there below the settlement features. So once we can get rid of poorly decorated, rude citizens, and atmosphere of suspicion, those three things should allow us to start in, uh, helping out the village a lot more. Now productivity, you notice it dropped a little bit. That's not good. So it didn't tell me that that was going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and just end the video here. Uh, if you can bear with me just a second here. I'll be right back with you. And we're back. So, yep, that's pretty much what this will do. So your features that you keep adding to the to the uh, village, or, or settlement, I should say, are going to do a lot in regards to increasing and decreasing how much money is made here and how much you can get done. Um, and sooner or later, you can turn it into a positive. And like I said, I, my suggestion is don't take the first settlement. If you look at it and decide, oh, it's a C class, I'm not really interested. If you can find yourself a B or an A class, A class especially, that would be even better. Very few S classes roll around, but sometimes you can turn yours into an S class if you're close enough to it to begin with. But anyway, so that's where we stand with this. Uh, as time goes by, the settlement will, if you go back to your log, if you stay on the settlement, it will tell you when things are happening. See, it's running smoothly. You're free to explore the universe. It will alert you when there's something going on. Uh, sometimes, if you walk up and talk to it, it will tell you that there's something that's going to be coming up, and it's going to be an hour. They see a visitor in the distance that's making their way here. So again, we're not doing too well right now. We are literally not far away from the maintenance. But you notice the maintenance costs dropped from like 257000 So both of these have dropped. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And as settlement alert goes up to 100%, well, then we're going to have issues. So I'm going to call it here. This is the end of the series. Uh, I think we're done. I am not coming back to this planet or this world or this galaxy or anything like that. I think we're done. I, I love the ship. The ship was great. I really had a great time. But you know what? I really think it's time that we get ourselves into a hardcore mode run and see how we can do with that and see how, how difficult it will be for us to get that done. So um, this, ought to, this was a good run and I'm, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was a learning experience for everybody and if you had any questions or anything by all means I've been hopefully answering a lot of your comments and getting back to you about a great many things. So hey thank you very much for watching folks and hope to see you again in the near future. Thank you again this is Alon Paul signing off on the regular playthrough. Over and out, as they say, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, everybody. Always be kind when you can. Always be truthful in all things. Thank you very much. Take care.